too. So I have a few orders to fulfill y'all. And um, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Just getting all the yarn that I need. I got an order yesterday while I was at Applebee's for a light blue and white hat. So this is what that's for. And I gotta make some more of the fall colors. If you could see, Babe has a lot of yarn in her hand too. So yeah, how just, can they see that, Babe? <laughs> if you could see, they can't see it. But. And I want to do some chunky yarn projects, but I have to get these orders fulfilled first. But I'm so tempted by all this yarn. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today is Sunday, and I'm actually doing my first Sunday start of the vlog if that makes sense so normally I start off on Mondays so that it'll be a week from Monday to Sunday but I'm like I don't know I think I'm gonna switch it up start the vlog with Sunday is what I'm trying to say so that you guys get to see a full week in my life and then that way I can upload on Monday mornings and it'll be just you know a continuous flow so I hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far I am just about finished editing the vlog that I posted last week so but I want to know what you guys are thinking of the week of my life videos if you want anything different or if you want me to switch it up and do like a day in my life I did do a poll on my Instagram and some of you guys were interested in that but I'd like to know so let me know um, from my YouTube folks over here if you would like that as well and I can definitely make that happen so basically this week I just want to go ahead and start off the week fresh it's the beginning of a new month um, and what I'm doing this month is pretty cool as well I am starting a parasite cleanse today has been my first day of the cleanse and <laughs> it has been interesting I told you guys on the last vlog that I would keep you updated and since it's day one um, you know it was more than what I even anticipated already <laughs> one thing I will say is it's important to read the instructions when you're doing cleanses right so I basically got two different bags of herbs the cleanse is completely herbal and I have a bag for releasing and a bag for cleansing so I mix those two two tablespoons of each of those herbs the night before I steep them and let them sit for about overnight basically about 12 hours and then I'm supposed to sip on it throughout the day keyword throughout the day not all at once so today being my first day I didn't really pay attention to the last part of the instructions that said sip on it throughout the day <laughs> so what I did this morning was I just tried to chug it now mind you this stuff is very bitter I do remember doing one of these detoxes before I got it from like um, an herbal store or a spiritual store um, an African spirituality store in Columbia South Carolina I did it about three or four years ago and I wasn't drinking nearly as much it was like a capful per day so I saw some differences but didn't notice as many this is completely different I'm drinking a whole liter of this cleanse each day so with me chugging it like i said very bitter tasted disgusting so i was like okay kelly just try to like plug your nose try to just you know do what you got to do because today we did go to family's house to watch football so earlier this morning when i had the first bit of the tea i was like okay let me just go ahead and try to drink it that way i can see what it does to me and that way i can you know do what i gotta do if i have to do that before we leave the house if you know what i mean so I'm chugging, I'm chugging, and then all of a sudden I get like a gag reflex. Y'all, tell me why all the tea came up. All of the tea that I had drank. I had drank probably about half of this liter, and it just all came up. It was not fun, it was not cute. Zero out of 10, don't recommend. <laughs> so what I'm about to do now is go ahead and take some before and after pictures, even though it's in the evening, and I should have taken it in the morning. Regardless, I'm going to go ahead and take some before and after pictures. It's Sunday night. Um, so that's why I did want to take you guys through a bit of my Sunday night routine. Now, I don't do this every Sunday, but with it being in the beginning of the month and the beginning of the fourth quarter of the year, I really am just trying to focus a bit more, um, do things that are going to help me to achieve my goals. And one of those is to being more healthy and then being consistent. So 
what I'm doing tonight is I just um, finished making one meal. Uh, I made some chili and I'm about to hop in the shower and then once I get out of the shower, I'm gonna make another meal. So I'm gonna do salmon, couscous, and uh, kale. So that'll be another meal that we can have and then I'll let my fiance take over with the next half of the week. She doesn't know it yet, but you know, normally we kind of tag team on food and meals throughout the week. So she can kind of decide what we do for the second half of the week, but it just helps to go ahead and meal prep. I'm gonna put everything in Tupperware so that way I can, you know, stay conscious of my portion sizes and everything like that. Because with this cleanse, I'm not necessarily, you know, trying to diet per se, but I'm trying to have better habits. So like I told you guys on the last vlog, I'm gonna be doing 21 days of no alcohol and no sweets starting tomorrow, Monday, October 4th. So today's the third. So I just am kind of trying to prep myself for all of that. And then I'm gonna show you guys the products as well that I'm using for the cleanse. So with the cleanse, I believe I mentioned I'm gonna start doing enemas and um, suppositories, not every day. I'll start that in a few weeks. Since the cleanse is six weeks, we kind of just stagger. So the first week is just a tea. The second week is a tea and a binder, um, which I'll explain more about that you know, later on down the line. And then the third week, I believe, is when I start the um, enemas and suppositories. So those will be like once a week. Like I said, I'm gonna keep you guys along with me on the journey, but um, for tonight, I'm just doing some meal prep. I'm also going to do some juicing tonight. That way I have some things that I can just grab and go in the fridge while I'm working um, throughout the week. And that way I don't have to think about food and I'm less tempted to like steer off of healthy food and healthy habits. I do hope that I can really just see some improvement with my habits. I'll also be incorporating some working out. Um, and so I'll be showing you guys some footage of that as well throughout the week. Since I am not as busy this Sunday, I'm trying to wind down and get everything started for the week. I'm gonna go ahead and just give you guys this footage that way you know what's going on with my week. I don't have much planned um, other than just trying to really bunker down on this cleanse and being active, working out, sweating at least three to four times a week because that's also part of the cleanse and drinking more water. So I'm supposed to be drinking half of my body weight in water. So that'll be about like over 120 ounces. So we'll see how that goes. I also was doing affirmations. Um, for the cleanse so I will also be trying to just release and hopefully be a whole new me by the end of this cleanse I hope you guys enjoy this footage that's pretty much it for now um, I got some orders to fulfill as well tonight I'm gonna get that going make sure I get this vlog uploaded for you guys for tomorrow last thing I'm really I'm gonna try to do well with sweets because I just like that's my weakness sweets and carbs so I'm really gonna try to watch this this week if you follow me on Instagram try to help keep me motivated i'll probably post a little bit of my meals this week i'm just trying to get more active on there and interact with you guys more on my instagram and just all my social medias i'll be doing that and then the rest of the week like i said i don't have much planned this weekend we may or may not go to columbia which is where i'm from um just to see family and that's pretty much it i want to say we were going to go on a date this weekend but um we may have to postpone that and then We'll see what else we get into this weekend. For now, that's all we have planned. I'll be taking you guys through the rest of my week with me and I hope you guys are enjoying your week as well. So, real quick, because I'm supposed to be working, I'm about to make a heavy metal detox smoothie. So, I'll explain the ingredients in a, just a second or in another clip, but I'm going to start with um, blueberries. They're supposed to be wild blueberries. Just a cup of blueberries. 
a banana. I don't know if it's supposed to be one or two bananas, um, but I'm gonna do one because I had one um, after my workout. And then you're supposed to squeeze the juice of an orange as well. So the thing is, I don't know how this smoothie is gonna taste because it has some interesting ingredients, but each of them is supposed to do a specific thing to help to draw out uh, heavy metals like copper and zinc from your body. So um, I came across it on Instagram and I wanted to give it a try um, for multiple reasons. I am doing a cleanse already, so it's cilantro. Um, but you know, I also like to drink smoothies in the morning, so nothing wrong with a little bit of extra, you know, um, nutrients. So cilantro, and this is organic barley grass juice. Doesn't smell the best, so thankfully it's only one um, teaspoon that I have to put in. And then let's see, also spirulina. Um, I think that's how you say it. I have blue spirulina, the recipe calls for green but you know basically the same thing I use this in all my smoothies so a little bit of that and then the last thing is um, this dulce so it's like seaweed it's like flakes so I'm supposed to do one tablespoon this is two tablespoons so I'm gonna do like half of that and then I'll add water and mix it all up and I'll let you guys know how it tastes I'm kind of nervous I might add like a drop of honey, but then again, I don't want to mess up, you know, the recipe and everything. So we shall see. Hopefully it's not too bad because I'm already drinking very bitter tea every day. So hopefully this can be something a little more tasteful that I'll actually enjoy. <laughs> but I'll let y'all know. So it is the end of the day on Tuesday and I owe you some updates. So First, the smoothie, the detox smoothie that you guys saw me making this morning, um, the heavy metal detox smoothie. It was actually pretty good. So I am giving it like an 8 out of 10. Uh, some of the ingredients you guys saw, one of them is cilantro and of course banana and everything like that. So probably the thing that stuck out the most to me was the cilantro. Um, but I like cilantro, so it really it wasn't really that big of a deal. Like it, it wasn't bad. I didn't put as much in as the recipe called for. It called for like um, a cup of cilantro, but I only used probably maybe half a cup, maybe one third cup. So that wasn't bad at all. I like the smoothie. Of course, the banana was like the most prevalent taste. But other than that, I have no complaints. It was a tad bit salty tasting because of the seaweed, but it was easily covered up by the banana, I would say, the banana and the blueberries. So, given that an eight out of 10, um, and then let's see, what else? I basically worked all day. I did finish a beanie order um, that I have to ship off tomorrow. And then now I'm recovering from my workout. So this morning I worked out the second day of muscle burden fat, which is a beach body workout. So I'll be doing that for 21 days. It was hard <laughs> and that's pretty much it. But I did have a win today. Uh, I got on the scale for the first time in probably like 90 days and I was down five pounds from then. So, or the last time I got on the scale, so that's good. Um, Cause I really haven't really been trying to lose weight here in the past few months. I feel like I had slacked off. So it's good to know that my work or not so much work, but my consciousness about what I'm eating and everything is paying off so that was good but yeah that's pretty much it i need to juice tomorrow but since i'm sore right now what i'm gonna do is go get in a hot bath with some epsom salt and just soak for a little while before i uh end my night and then yeah that's pretty much it i'll check in with you guys tomorrow um if there's any other updates but i just wanted to come in here say hey since i'm trying to record more um throughout the week so yeah i hope everybody is doing good and i will see you guys on the next clip yes, if y'all have not watched the maid on netflix please go watch it right now you will not regret it i don't want to post any spoilers so i'm not going to tell y'all what happens but i'm just telling y'all to go watch it and enjoy because it's just that good like it might have me up feeling <laughs>
Instagram you know that we went on a surprise date today Riz had something planned and I told her that my love language is surprises so now all of a sudden we're doing surprises <laughs> um but the surprise was that we are at a vineyard and it's definitely a vibe we just took some pictures this wine is good I'm feeling it so um yeah just having a good time chilling I actually put on heels for the first time in a while even though I'm about to put my Crocs back on <laughs> but yeah we are having a good time I just wanted to come on and say what's up and I will check in with y'all soon I'm a mango fan all the way me too I love mango I tried it just the other day and mm -hmm. I thought it was really good yeah but not everybody's favorite, so. But you have good flavor, so it's hard to pick. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's the rating on? Ten out of ten. Can I, can I finish? <laughs> <laughs> what's the rating on the wine tasting experience? Ten out of ten. We bought two bottles of both of our favorite, right? We mm -hmm. got two different ones, yeah. Um, ten out of ten. It's pretty chill out here too, so. I enjoy myself. I definitely enjoy myself. I'm on third <laughs> class. <laughs> and of course we did the tasting. So we had to taste each one. We tried like six different wines. They didn't have all of them. So we're definitely coming back to try some more. But yeah. <laughs> Just over oh, here in this parking lot over here. Just when I thought I couldn't be surprised anymore, we have arrived at our destination. <laughs> Somebody is good at what she does, honey, and it ain't me. I thought I was a good surpriser. <laughs> Yummy? How's it taste? <laughs> so we are back home and I wanted to show you guys the wine that we got from the winery it is so good and we found out they do have it in stores but this is my favorite, Chardonnay Peach. And this is our second favorite. We tasted six, I think I told you that already. But I just wanted to show you guys what the bottle looks like. And they do the drip method, so it's super cute. About to crack one of these babies open for the night and watch the movies. Say so washing the car. Washing the car. Washing the car. 